a lot of the time I like to talk about the, the car buying experience from the framework of the car selling experience, because I think that if we could reconcile the two things and bring those together, I think a lot of the process would be facilitated in a much more accessible, easy way from getting from on the lot point A to point sold in a very simplified manner. So when we delve into a quick discussion about the number one mistake that people make when it comes to negotiating a car deal, I'm going to kind of peel back a little bit and speak to the thing that sales trainers, so the people who teach car sales people how to sell cars, refer to as the commitment. I get it. Negotiating a car deal can be really difficult and intimidating. It's a lot of numbers. It's a lot of money. It's figures being thrown about. It's you know, you know, a lot of variables that you have to consider as to whether or not they're going to make sense for you to move forward. The only thing that we're trying to extract and distill from our end of things is the whole idea of a commitment, a place where a buyer is ready to do business, to essentially drive home in that vehicle in that moment today, because that whole wheel, that whole picture is going to come together and makes sense for them. The number one mistake buyers can make when they come to sit down at a table ready to negotiate has to do with that picture itself. And what I mean by that is you should already have a snapshot to even be in a position of power to begin to negotiate of what those figures would look like and what they would do to make sense for you. And so think about a think about the variables at hand, right? So you've got your price of the vehicle, you've got your monthly payment, you have your down payment, and then you have your trade and valuation, right? So all of those are going to essentially spit out into whatever financing term that you ultimately are going to be in, interest rate, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But that's the picture. And that's the thing, like, as long as we're on the right vehicle and the price is right on that vehicle and the payment is right on that vehicle and you, you feel like you've gotten an appropriate valuation on your trade, if it shakes out, you're gonna be good to go. The problem comes for a lot of people is they don't have a concrete sense of what all of those things look like and they don't have a good framework and an idea of what those things look like. So when you're presented with something, it's not a case of having a payment that you already knew that you wanted to be at. It suddenly becomes too high or a valuation of where you wanted to be at on the trade. It's simply too low or the price etc. regardless of whether or not you have a realistic framework and unrealistic framework. And I think that's the biggest mistake that people make is they don't have a sense of what those four things need to be when they come to the table. And so things get a little bit cattywampus. Uh, and, and I give you a breakdown. I have plenty of walkthroughs on how you can kind of clarify and crystallize what's reasonable for all of those. Like, how do you even come up with an idea of what reasonable valuation on your trade-in is? Or what sets the price of a vehicle? Are dealer installed options, is that something that's factored in? But until you have a sense of that, and until you have a concrete answer where you can provide a commitment, so on a given car, a place that you're able to say, well, if you can do this, 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 and that I will purchase it, even if that first presentation of figures doesn't work and reconcile for you, you're not going to be negotiating from a position of strength or a position of understanding because if you don't know what it takes for you to be there, we can't get you there. So instead of too low, have a number. Instead of too high, have a number. And if we can get you there and reconcile those things, it's going to facilitate a much easier shopping experience all around. I promise. Good luck and happy shopping.